Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys another 2007 old school RuneScape video. For this video, I'm going to be covering which I think is better, the new Zamorakian Hosto, which is essentially a one-handed Zamorakian Spear, or the old Abyssal Whip. But before I get into that topic, just wanted to tell you guys why it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. It's been about 5 days. Usually I upload every like 2 days, but ever since I died at Bandos, I've been trying to get my stuff stuff back. And when you die in this game, it is pretty demotivating, especially when you have to get stuff back such as the Fire Cape, Berserker Ring Eye, and 6 mil, including the Berserker Ring. So I had to buy this back and I'm at about a 2 mil cash stack right now so that's um, pretty bad. Good thing I had that 11 mil st uh, saved in my bank in case I died or anything like that in my luck. But um, yeah, I was trying to get my fire cape back by doing Jad and it didn't really work out so that wasted a lot of time and I've also been busy in real life. So I eventually got the time to make a video. and. Let's get into the topic. So, if you want to be able to wield the Zamorakian Hosta, first you have to do the Tai Wawani Trio quest, which also requires the quest Jungle Potion, if I remember correctly. And also, you have to do the Barbarian tutorial um, that Auto God Blessed gives you. You have to go fishing, fire making with the Barbarian skills and all that good stuff. And he can be located south of Barbarian Assault. So just talk to him and go through the trials and you also have to complete that quest and eventually you will be able to use the Zamorakian Hosta. This costs about 300k to make. Um, basically you give your Zamorakian Spear to Otto and you have to pay 300k to turn it into a Zamorakian Hosta. So the Zamorakian Spear is about 4 mil at Zybes right now and the Abyssal Whip I believe is around like 1.7 mil at the moment. I'm not too sure about that one but I know this is about 3 to 5 mil so usually around 4 mil in order to get the Zamorakian Spear and then also you have to pay 300k in order to turn it into a Hosta. So let's get into the stats right now. When you're using the Zamorakian Hosta, the main attack you're going to be wanting to use is Lunge right here because it is a stab attack. And if you are using something like Swipe or Pound, you're not going to have as much accuracy as you can see right here in the attack bonuses. So you want to use the stab attack. And if you're using the Whip, you're going to be using the Slash attack, um, which is all of these, I'm pretty sure. So. With the whip, you can uh, train your attack XP controlled and also defense XP. And with the Zamorakian Hosta, you can only train defense or controlled slash shared, whatever you want to call it. So right off the bat, if you're going for levels in your combat, such as attack, then you're probably going to want to use the whip instead. But if you are doing something like Slayer, I think I'm going to recommend the Zamorakian Hosta. But let's get further into the stats here. As you can see, the Zamorakian Hosta has defense bonuses and the Whip does not have any. The Whip does, however, do better in strength bonuses. As you can see right here, it's 82. And here it is 75, but you also have prayer bonus. So the Zamorakian Hosta has better accuracy with stab which you're going to be, be able to use on things like metal dragons. I was doing mithril dragons earlier and I found it to be a little bit better than the abyssal whip because I believe they are weak to stab attacks. So you're going to have more accuracy with it. You're also going to have defense bonus and prayer bonus, but you're going to be sacrificing some strength bonus, which also, um, if you're using something like a berserker ring, that should help a little bit. If you are using a whip, then... Um, you should probably well it doesn't matter well basically what I'm trying to say here is do not use a warrior ring with the Zamorakian Hosta because the warrior ring gives you bonus for slash I believe so if you're using the warrior ring instead of something like a berserker ring then you should probably use the whip instead in all cases but if you have the berserker ring then that shouldn't be a problem so uh, the Zamorakian Spear has a lot of bonuses over the Whip, but the Whip does have a strength bonus and it has a lot less requirements and it costs a lot less. 
but there are a good amount of monsters that are weak to stab so that's why I find a lot of people wanting to get this and some of those monsters include like slayer monsters and metal dragons so if you ever have a slayer task such as iron dragons steel dragons mythical dragons you know whatever you got then you should probably use the Zamoraki and spear if you have one but at the moment I don't see too much of a point in investing to it it does uh, do slightly better in some cases but overall I'd say the whip is still uh, pretty much just as good and if not better because you'll be able to train attack and stuff like that but if you do slayer a lot then I would probably suggest uh, trying out this Zamoraki and Hasta I think I called it a spear a couple times in this video but yeah it's a Hasta and it's one-handed and if you attack use the rune defender then um, as you can see here it has one plus accuracy bonus and stab and it doesn't slash so uh, using the rune defender is better with the Zamoraki and Hasta than the whip but is really not much of a difference at all because as you can see it's just plus one in stab compared to slash so overall basically you should probably stick to the whip if you are going for attack levels like I mentioned earlier and if you don't have the money or time to get the Zemiraki and Hasta it is pretty cool that they were able to make the Hastas and all this stuff but the only real reason you would ever use this over the whip would be for slayer tasks which doesn't really even make too much of a difference so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, tell me what you guys think if you've tried this down in the comments section below and if you enjoyed this video then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys later in my next video if you are subscribed. Peace.